dramatic reveal. Here they are. Uh, I am loving how they are. Um, as you probably have already picked up, these are not your typical ring toss bottles. I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, but first, I was going to build a rack for them, but huh, by golly, they already set up pretty perfect. So let's play. Whew. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I'm about seven feet away. Oh, this is extremely far away for ring toss, in my opinion. But if I can do it far away, I can do it close up. That was a close one. So, cauldron is empty. This is not my witch's brew, so I'm gonna have to regroup and try again. All right, so after five t attempts with my bucket of 15 or so rings, at seven feet away, I could not get a single one on, but I made some adjustments. I'm now about five and a half feet away, so I gave in, and I also removed the chairs and put them over there because every time a ring would fall and hit them, it sounds basically like a gunshot, and I'd rather, you know, not hear that or have you guys hear that as well. Needless to say, I'm a foot and a half closer. Let's see if I can get one on now. they go straight on. Uh, the bouncers are still obviously a win. However, there's nothing as satisfying in my opinion in terms of carnival games than having the ring go directly on the bottle and staying. It's an impossible odd that arguably can just get refined down to just aiming at the same bottle every single time. Hey, that's a win! That was a really bad bounce, but let me see. I have six rings left. Let's see if I can get another one on. Two rings. No, last ring. Straight on. Oh, no. But... I don't know if you guys can see that. Winning, winner, woo! So now that I've successfully won, let's discuss the difference between the bottles that I ordered as opposed to the standard Coke bottles that carnivals and amusement parks use. All right, now it's time to talk about the specs between the two bottles. Let's start off with the standard Coke bottle. So this uh, is the Mexican Coke bottle. Um, it's 355 milliliters. Uh, the dimensions uh, base, you're looking at around two inches and three eighths. The height, I measured it and I got around nine and five eighths. Comparing this behemoth to a little squirt right here. Uh, this one here, uh, it's actually a hot sauce bottle, uh, still made of, so far, really good, uh, really good glass. Um, it measures in at a slim uh, one and eight, one point eight inches, and then the height you're looking at six point seven inches. That is surprisingly small in comparison to this guy. And weight wise, these are significantly lighter. Uh, they're lighter, smaller, which is perfect because I'm trying to make a portable game where I can take it places. And um, I'd say the biggest thing that I don't like about the Coke bottles is how tall they are. So if I were to ever make a case game out of these or try to uh, start up in like an Etsy shop where I make the games, um, these guys just in my opinion, wouldn't quite cut it. Let's talk about how easy it is to win on both. Let's start off with standard Coke bottle. Now, for those of you who have one, you know that sometimes they'll stay right on top of the lip or they'll go all the way down the neck. 
Either way, that's a win. I don't care what the crusty carnies tell you, that's a win. And I would fight with them on that if they ever tried to give you lip about that. Now for my hot sauce bottles, you encounter the same issue. So it, it imitates the Coke bottles relatively well, in my opinion, where they will still go down all the way, but there is a potential for them to not. ways to go about playing glass bottle ring toss or any ring toss in general that will greatly increase your chances. There we go, that's a win.